All right, so if you design for the web, you probably need to pull open a browser a lot of times and it needs to be clean without any session cookies, temp files, or anything cached. You can do this a lot with profiles. Chrome is awesome at that. I have probably six profiles set up, not only for testing, but also just so that I can have one for impersonating one client and develop on their system before I switch to other projects. Um, so, I mean, obviously that comes in very useful. I don't have any idea why IE does not have that ability. Um, but a lot of times you need to maybe even get outside your firewall. You need to uh, open a browser as a public, as the public would see it. I actually just came into this role and noticed that I have to have compatibility view turned on to use one of the platform systems, but I need to turn that off to see how the site that I'm developing for would actually appear to the public who did not put it in the compatibility view because we don't want to code for a site that requires legacy views. So um, I need to open up a browser that it has none of those configurations. Um, and browser stack can do it. Um, you have to pay for an account for that. Uh, there's some other services like that. This one is a free little option that I think is cool and I just found out about it a couple of weeks ago didn't really have much use for it, never tried it out until the other day when I needed it, and uh, it's awesome. So I'm going to try it out now for the first time on this PC and show you how to set it up the first time. Um, but it's really cool. You can basically launch a, a VM, a virtual machine, running in the cloud. It fires up Internet Explorer for you in this clean, isolated environment, and then you use it remotely, just like using Citrix remote uh, receiver, Citrix receiver for remote app. Um, basically the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and download this for Windows 64-bit. I'll install. It's a click once application. All right, so this is the app that's published for me. This is a lot like Citrix Receiver. It's the same real technology. It's remote desktop, but publishing a single application. And this will fire up a computer in the cloud, a fresh instance of a virtualized program. It's using App V. And so here it is. This is Internet Explorer. It's running up in Microsoft's uh, cloud. It's just being sent to me by remote desktop. So, you know, it, it has a little bit of laggy. I wouldn't try to go and, you know, watch a YouTube video over it. So this is my Cox home, tele or home IP address. But anyway, this was great for testing uh, some sites because it's a completely clean environment, there are no cookies, it has nothing, you know, no junk at all. It's a completely brand new browser. You can only use it for about an hour. I, I didn't time it, but after um, a little while, whether you're using it or not, it will turn off and say you've reached the login limit. You can just uh, hit this icon again and fire up another new instance. That next instance is completely scrubbed again and clean. There's no temp files, no browser objects, no configuration. I mean, it is a default browser in every possible sense. It's basically disposable and it's awesome for testing and I use it often now. And by that, I mean, I've used it every day since Tuesday when I found the need for it. So anyway, I hope this helps. I hope that uh, you like it and enjoy it.